What is up YouTube? James back here and welcome back to another episode of VGC 2018 Back to Back Battles. Today we have the Gardevoir Araquanid core team one last time with Tapu Koko, Hydreigon, Nognadel, and Hitmontop. So let us play some games and yeah I actually haven't had time to uh, test it all in between recordings. It's just uh, I've been practicing for like my midseason showdown which i think i mentioned earlier that is in new york so i have to practice for that i have like a bunch of other things to do so we'll see if i can still use this team well because honestly this team i feel like has been really hard for me to use because i'm not sure how i like i like it anymore 1680 rated player from a from japan as our first opponent with kangaskhan whimsicott zapdos landers varian heatran and top of Fini. so I don't think this is nature's power because I don't think there's a reason to run nature's power Z nature's power with only one Tapu. Yeah, uh, I think it would just be Focus Ash with Tailwind. I don't know. That just could be Tailwind, which is a weird part. So I don't know what kind of Whimsicott this is. Um, I think Naganadel Hitmontop can do a lot of work against my opponent. Oh yeah, it definitely can. I'll leave Nogginadel hit him on top. I think Gardevoir in the back. I think Tapu Koko. Hydreigon doesn't do much in this game, I feel like. Rockwind could do some work, to be honest, if I got Trick Room up. Rockwind actually destroys my opponent under Trick Room. Excluding the Whimsicott and the Tapu Fini. But I'm pretty sure both of them are going to be brought. We'll see here. I just don't know. Like, a lot of my opponent's Pokemon are viable. In this matchup, I just don't know how my opponent's going to handle. I think... They're like all viable. Whimsicott can get Tailwind. Kangaskhan, just good damage output. Feeny's really good if it gets Calm Minds up against me. Uh, Landers is just super good against my team in general. Heatran, it's a fairy resist. It's also steel immunity. Um, yeah, it's just weird. Okay, Landers, Zapdos is going to lead. Uh, I would have preferred if I led Gardevoir to be honest, but I don't feel like this is bad either way. I could fake out the... I think I fake out the Landers as my opponent might go for Tailwind. I wonder if my opponent might be worried about an HP Ice Nog in the Del set and might switch out into like Heatran or Feeny. I think Gardevoir is still my safest play though, and I'll just fake out the... Landers? I think it would be Tailwind coming out from my opponent. I don't expect, uh... A Thunderbolt right away. If it is, that's fine because then I get to withdraw him on top. And this play also allows me to maybe get a trace off on my opponent. Like, it's looking like I can just click Hyper Voice against my opponent. Nice. I finally get to trace Intimidate after like all the games I played. Like, I've only traced it like once or twice. So nice. And I get to fake out the Landris, which probably is forced to switch out the following turn as. Oh, you do just Thunderbolt. Okay. Him on top? That's fine. Man, if I had a rock when it in, I could just liquidation trick room, I feel like. Oh, well, actually, no, there's a Zapdos in the way. But I can go on the top of Coco and just Volt Switch, I feel like, to Zapdos. Zapdos just don't carry Protect as often. Trick room is looking very safe for me because... Or do I just want to click Hyper Voice? Like, Speed Advantage is nice, but I feel like maybe just going for the Hyper Voice, getting the damage on Zapdos I need seems better. I actually like Hyper Voice more because I think immediate damage is better. I think Landers could switch out here, which is why I want to go for Volt Switch in uh, Zapdos and try to maybe bring out my Hit on top to intimidate maybe a Kangaskhan. I don't know if Kangaskhan would come in. Like, maybe my opponent expects Trick Room. Or stays in with both, okay. Is this Scarf Landers? I wonder if it's Scarf Landers. Well, it's minus two. And about to be minus three. Yeah. Alright. Volt Switch. That does so much. I think Hyper Voice is going to get me a double KO. I saved the Sash on Nognadel. I go him on top 100%. Get the Intimidate off onto the Landers. <laughs> that Landers is minus three. Jeez. As it's Earthquake. Okay. That's not going to do anything at minus three. Yeah, that really didn't do much. Uh, okay, it's slow Zapdos. I honestly thought it'd be fast by the Volt Switch damage. I get to knock out the land, uh, the Zapdos and the um, the Lander stays weakened, which is nice. All right. 
Let's see, Kangaskhan coming in or Feeny? I would assume Feeny. Yep, Feeny. I honestly really want to close combat the uh, Lander slot. Or Helping Hand Hyper Voice, which picks me up a KO and gets massive damage off on the Feeny. You know what, Helping Hand Hyper Voice sounds better to be honest than Fake Out because I'm willing to trade my hit on top right here for like a KO on Landers as well as damage on the Feeny. As my opponent actually goes for U-turn. Oh, that's amazing for me. That's actually amazing for me. Because this Helping Hand Hyper Voice is going to do so much to Kangaskhan probably coming in. Yep. I was honestly thinking about close combating the Lander slot too. But this actually works out better, I think. Because I get more damage on Feeny. Even if it Calm Mind's up here, I should be good. Yeah, like look at that damage. Muddy Water is going to come out. God of War Voids. Unfortunate for my opponent. Him on top. Oh, it's Specs. I think it has to be Specs to knock me out, to be honest. Go, Coco. Gardero is faster than Feeny. I can just protect, and double protect, and gleam Hyper Voice here. I don't think there's a drawback, to be honest. Even if my opponent switches out in, uh. Even if my opponent switches out into, like. Landers, I feel like I'm still fine. My opponent's gonna double. Looks like fake out here. And I'm. Yeah, like. Yeah, not hitting that muddy water sucks for my opponent because it would probably put me in range of Sucker Punch into God of War, so that really sucks for my opponent. Alright. I mean, I probably could have got Noggin and Adele in, to be honest, and just double protect and then threaten to knock out Feeny or Landers. I think Fire Blast plus Gleam might knock out Landers still. And yeah, there's no reason not to gleam Hyper Voice here. I catch everything on the Switch and I knock out Feeny. Because it should be a Specs variant. I don't see it being Calm Mind. I think it has to be a Specs variant. It did too much to my hit on top. Sucker Punch going to come out. Weaken the Gardevoir. Which is really smart, actually. Oh, as my opponent DCs. That's really smart because it puts me in range of Earthquake. I think it would come down to do I hit my Fire Blast with Nagan Adele. I just, okay, it really comes down to, I feel like, how much I do to, um, AV Lando with Gleam. Gleam plus Fire Blast might be able to pick up a knockout because a single target life for Gleam on the Lando plus a Fire Blast from Nagan Adele. If it survives both and has Rock Tomb, he, my opponent could, uh, no, 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 he wouldn't win the game because I would protect my Coco and sack my Guard of War. As you Earthquake, and then I bring in Nagan Adele because then I would force the game where you can't rock to my Nagan Adele to win the game. So I, so yeah. It would come down to do I hit my Fire Blast, I feel like. I would have to either hit one or I would Nasty Plot up. But yeah, that's unfortunate for my opponent. That Muddy Water Miss really sucked. But there's not much I can do there. As we got our second opponent, 1509, rated player from Japan. With the team of Tapu Fini, Tapu Coco, Chris Celia, Landis Varian, Tyranitar, and Volcarona. I think Tyranitar looks like. Double Tapu, that's hard for my team to handle. I honestly feel like I could just lead him on top of Gardevoir though. I don't see... Or I could lead Nagana Del. Nagana Del could nasty plot up. Hmm... Araukuni looks really good if I get rid of the <sighs> Feeny. I think I want to go Gardevoir Hitmon top though. I think it's just solid overall against my opponent. I think Nagana down in the back is useful. I think Coco. I really like Araukuni though, which makes this a weird decision, but we'll find out. We're going to find out what my opponent decides to lead here. I wonder what would be the Z-move for my opponent's team. Like... Coco, Volcarona, potentially Cresselia or Landorus. Volcarona, Cresselia is going to lead, which is smart for my opponent. I wonder if it's Quiver Dance Volk. If I. I should have led a Rock on it. I just wasn't sure if my opponent would lead like Coco or anything. I would expect this to be Rage Powder, yet this could be. Very well be Quiver Dance. I don't have a good answer to this. 
Coco's expendable, I think. I think I'm just going to Hyper Voice and fake out Cresselia. Uh, if this is Quiver Dance, this is really bad for me. Because if you're Quiver Dance, you set up on me for free. I don't feel like there's much I can do. Maybe I should have helping, faked out Psychic into helping hand Psychic to Volk. But I would assume Rage Powder on this team or support with Tailwind. Yeah, it's support. Overheat. Okay. That doesn't do too much, fortunately, as I get a Hyper Voice off. Except my Gardevoir is weakened, which is not good. I'll be in Hyper Voice seems pretty solid against my opponent right now, and I think that's my best play. Getting to chip on these Pokemon to weaken it for my later mons seems really good. So I won't mind this trade. Volcarona is going to switch out. That's Tyranitar. Tapafini, okay. That works. Because helping out Hyper Voice is looking really good here. I don't care if you Icy Wind here. I don't care if you... I guess the only thing I care about is if you call mine, because I brought all special attackers on the field. So let's see. Could be Psychic in the on top, but I get free switch into like Coco or in my Nagnadel, which wouldn't be bad. I got a crit on the Feeny, unfortunate. I didn't want that crit because I could help me hand Hyper Voice to knock out the Feeny the next turn potentially. It is Calm Mind Cresselia, okay. I have no. I think I need to break through this Cresselia. Oh, it's a Leftovers Feeny. I don't think that I don't think the crit well the crit could matter because now it's in gleam range. I'm still gonna help me hand hyper voice here. I need the damage. I'm pretty sure Fiend's gonna switch out into Volk. Not the case, it looks like. Feeny just gonna protect, okay. A psychic shouldn't knock out Hitmontop even at plus one, I feel like. Although if I lose Hitmontop, I do lose a really good answer to Ranatar. I would have to keep Cresselia around for sure. It's Icy Wind. Okay. Uh, I think that's fine to be honest. I can go top of Coco and click Gleam plus my Hyper Voice. And that should be able to knock out both these Pokemon. Yeah, I could have went Nognadel, got the speed boost potentially. I wonder if Tyranitar's in the back or if it's Landris my opponent's playing for. Hmm. Yeah, but Hyper Voice plus Gleam should knock out. I could also Volt Switch, yet I don't feel like that's the play because I don't think like I want to break Sash on Nognadel yet. Or go into him on top when I need Intimidate for later in the game most likely. So yeah, I'll get rid of the Feeny. And the Crystal. Oh, it's Comp. It's Moonlight. That's really difficult for my team to handle. I'm going to have to get Nasty Plot and Noggin the Dell at some point. <sighs> that That's really frustrating for me to handle. This team does... I needed Hydreigon in that case. But against Double Fairy, I don't see myself bringing it. Bulk? Bulk. Thunderbolt knock, should knock out Volcarona at that range, I would imagine. I also want a Trick Room Thunderbolt because he might Icy Wind Protect. You know what? I'm just going to Thunderbolt and Trick Room. Oh, he's Scarf Volcarona. Oh, that's not what I anticipated at all. I think that works out for me, though. Hold on. A single target Icy Wind or Moonlight? Okay, that's fine. Uh, it's like really hard to break through that Cresselia now. I have to figure out a way past this Cresselia, but I don't see a way past this Cresselia to be honest. I get Hitmon top in, I can fake out Hyper Voice. I mean, Gardevoir is slower than Tyranitar in the back, if it is in the back. I get Hitmon top in, fake out Hyper Voice, and the Helping Hand Hyper Voice is nice. Uh, Volcarona's on a good spot. I don't think Overheat knocks out Gardevoir. It might. I don't, I, I'm honestly not sure. I'm going to fake out Hyper Voice. I think Volcarona stays in and just overheats, to be honest. I don't think you let me get a free switch in. Oh, but then I lose to Nagnadel because I set up Trick Room, didn't I? I did not expect Scarf. I honestly thought it would be... 
I thought it'd be Rage Powder. Fake out. And we scream for not much. Overheat. Doesn't do much. I'm also scared. I'm scared to close combat because I would be put in range of Psychic Knock going for the knockout. I think I do lose this game. I think Call Mine Crest just walls me too hard. I need a rock grenade in the back, I think. Alright, helping hand hyper voice. I need to do as much damage to these Pokemon as possible. I just don't do enough to Cresselia. And you Moonlight too. Oh, maybe I should have psychic. Like my opponent's not taking any risk, which is really solid here. Overheat. If it missed, that would have been great. But Gardevoir goes down. Going to Nognadel. I'm pretty sure if he has Tyranitar in the back. I think even Tyranitar or Landris, I think no matter what, I lose. Maybe unless it's Coco. Even if it's Coco, I think I still lose, to be honest. Uh, two turns. Yeah, I think I just lose here. I can't beat Chrysalia. Was, was him on top of her Icy Wind? No. Maybe I wide guard here to prevent an icy wind. I don't know. There's not much I can do here, I think. I'm wide guarding preventing icy wind so I can outspeed Coco after Tailwind's over. But yeah, Psyshock gonna come out. Then Dash should knock out my hit on top. Oh, not gonna do. Is it Coco in the back? Sludge Bomb into Oak. Then again, if he Z move on Coco, he can just Z move my not gonna do. I think it's Coco. I think if you have Calm Mind on Cresselia, it, oh, Landris. Oh, wait, no matter what, I had no chance of winning. Very solidly played from my opponent. I just had nothing that could break through this Cresselia. I wouldn't need High Dragon on this matchup if I had a chance to break through this Cresselia. But I didn't bring it, so. Yeah. Good game. <laughs> Like, there wasn't much I can do, like... Even if I got to a position where I could Nasty Bob and Nognadel, like, Sludge Bomb would only do probably, like, 40%. Like, Cresselia is bulky. I think Call My Moonlight Cresselia is really good, though. Although... I'm interested on... I wonder, like... Okay. So, I wonder what my opponent does if you have to bring Cresselia and Tyranitar because with Sand... I wonder if it's a Nerf Tyranitar. Uh, I don't think that's the case. Because Tyranitar Sandstorm prevents uh, Moonlight from recovering 50%. You heal 25% instead. But man... Oh my Cresselia destroyed me. I needed either a Rockwinid or I needed uh, Hydreigon. My opponent definitely did play that really well though. We got our last opponent with the team of Salamence, Raichu, Tapu Koko, Among Us, Politoed, and Celestial. I definitely played. I definitely played this person before. I think it was back when I had Incineroar on the team. I don't have Incineroar now, which <laughs> makes this very difficult. Oh, that makes it extremely difficult. I don't have a good Coco Raichu answer. Ironically. Maybe if I get Surge Surfer. I think I have to go based on the fact that if I get Surge Surfer, that's how I win this game. I feel like that's the only way I can actually win this game. Coco, Nagnadel in the back. I don't see... I, I, this is really hard. Like, I had Incineroar on the time when I played against this team. I feel like Incineroar was, like, the way I was able to, do, like, have a chance at this team. I don't remember if I won or lost, though. Because Incineroar was able to just knock out the Raichu turn one. And I didn't have to worry about, like, a threat KOing it unless it was, like, a double up with, like, Z-Move combined with, like, Coco Boosted Thunderbolt. This is, like... All my team is like week two combination of Raichu and Coco though. 
My only way to hope is I get Surge Surfer, which allows me to get the speed boost. Helping Hand Psychic knock out the Coco turn one. That's my play. That's the only play I have. You could also fake out Gardevoir. I'm pretty sure this Raichu did have fake out. This is such a weird lead in 18. I feel like I'm back in 17 again. Ah, oh, I got Electric Surge. That's game. Uh, maybe? Because I don't think I ever get a Trick Room up against my opponent. I f and I can't, I can't protect because he can Encore me. I'm going to fake out the Coco and Hyper Voice. This is a really bad matchup turn one. Especially if you have the Z-move, because the Z-move will knock out my uh, Gardevoir in one hit. Actually, I don't think it knocks me out in one hit. But the double up will. Fake out. And hit him on top. I could have helped me hand Hyper Voiced. I could have knocked out both, probably. Do I go into Nagnadel or do I go in? I go into Coco. Maybe I have to risk a speed tie with like the opposing Coco. Because you gleam here or you. Sky drop. Doesn't that put me in a fantastic position because I can trick room? No, I don't trick him ever here. I hyper voice and gleam here. 100%. Interesting sky drop. I'm not sure. Is it AV Coco? Psychic gonna come out. That's not gonna knock out Coco. Yeah, not even close. And he wins the speed tie, which is actually very fortunate for me because I get a gleam and hyper voice off. It's life of sky drop. Okay. I did not know that. Gleam comes out. Gardevoir, you should be. In uh. Offensive enough to knock out a Raichu, right? Okay, good. Okay. We're in this. We're still in this. Gardevoir is taking no damage. I can Volt Switch out into Intimidate. And my opponent can't Spore me. Oh, this is looking actually pretty good. Celesteela. Amoongus. This has made this game really interesting. I think I just Psychic the Amoongus slot and I Volt Switch out. Always. Well, I guess my opponent could... This covers like Rage Powder. This covers if you don't protect, which you didn't. Uh, this only didn't cover if you protected and went for like uh, Sludge Bomb. But then I get in Nagnadel and I got the chip damage on Amoongus potentially. Yeah, I got the chip damage on Amoongus. Volt Switch actually just knocks out Cell Seal, which is actually kind of insane. I'm going to go Naga and uh, This was a matchup I'm surprised I actually was able to win. Naga and Psychic into the Amoongus. Sludge Bomb into Gardevoir. Black Sludge. But yeah, I just Psychic and I s Fire Blast. No, I Sludge Bomb. That was... Okay. <laughs> that game did not go as I anticipated at all. What I was worried about was Fake Out in a Gardevoir, Gleam, then Zemu from the Raichu. There's nothing I can do to prevent that. That's not the game how I imagined it at all. I honestly thought that I was going to get bodied by Raichu Coco straight out. Because I don't have a Switch in a Zemu. I feel like the only ways... That maybe I could win that if that isn't Z-Move Raichu. But it wasn't Sash because I do remember knocking out in one hit with Incineroar when I did have it. So, I don't know. But I think that's going to be it for today's episode of VGC 2018 Backtrack Battles. That was three battles. I think that's pretty good, especially since I have been multi-recording a lot. So... I think that's pretty good. We got three wins in a row. I mean, that's a pretty good place to stop it right now because, yeah, I think that's pretty good to stop it for today because I think a battle would put us over, like, depending on how long it is, it would be, like, 
at least 10 to maybe 20 minutes. So I, I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you all for tuning in today's episode of VGC 2018 Back to Battles. As always, if you did like this video, please leave a like down below, show your support. I'm actually surprised that this team actually did decently well. I remember losing a lot of battles with this team. Uh, overall, like this is going to be a weird one for like when I start doing team analysis because this one is the one team I think I changed throughout. Maybe I'll do that in the future too, but it's going to be interesting. Like this seems nowhere near complete. I know that for a fact. This team is definitely has some really bad matchups. It's definitely not one of the most solid teams I've created. It well, I did build this out of my box Pokemon I had in my box conveniently, but like yeah, this team definitely should go un undergo like massive changes, I feel like, because there are a lot of bad matchups. Like, there are a few good matchups. I'm not sure how I feel about Gardevoir in this format still. Um, overall, testing it, it's just been extremely weak overall compared to like, you know, 2015 when it was pretty good as a Mega. It was really strong back then. Now I'm just not sure. Even with like a lot of special attack investment, like I, I've changed the EVs on Showdown. And try like Max's special attack, Mega Guard. I still don't like his damage output. It's still kind of weak. It kind of misses some very big two hit KOs, I feel like. But that's up to uh, the comment section. Well, the viewers, if you want to try out the team, paste pins down below. Let me know any changes you would make to this team because I think I would make like a bunch of changes. I think maybe try out Tyranitar. A bunch of stuff but yeah you can check out my social medias all that good stuff will be linked down below but otherwise have a good day people i will catch you around in another video